You know, um, Jim, we, we definitely would echo some of the comments that have already been made. I think uh, ease of implementation is typically uh, a really, really big issue, especially when you have the trade-offs of maybe doing it uh, kind of the old-fashioned way manually uh, versus, uh, you know, automated through uh, new, new technologies. Um, training is always a challenge, and I think in a large enterprise, uh, to your point, um, I think the uh, advantages of uh, picking um, emerging technologies that are broad that could uh, be addressed and enable a lot of the missions uh, in the agency helps a lot so that you can train and you don't have to train uh, all the folks on five or six different technologies, maybe one or two. Um, another, another thing that we're hearing right now that's real important um, and it, it's kind of supporting the uh, real-time decision-making process that some of the executives want to do today is um, what, what can we do with the emerging technologies so when we serve up information, um, you know, that we have executive oversight and dashboards so that they can quickly uh, look at this information and start to make decisions mm -hmm. uh, so that they can act sooner than later, you know, versus waiting two months for a report or for a white paper or something like that. Right. Um, a simple question that, you know, we would tend to ask folks, and it's very simple, but for a complex enterprise, as an example, it's not easy to answer. So uh, the question would be, how do you map IT interdependencies? in your landscape, in your infrastructure. And a lot of them don't have an answer for that today. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, so that's, it, you know, those are areas that I think are challenging, mm -hmm. and there's areas where they're looking for ways for industry to help. Yeah. 